All right, so we are finally here. Finally talk about all the Halloween movies, all the Michael Myers movies. Now it's time to finally rank them. First ranking video. This is gonna be interesting. This is actually quite hard. Actually looking at these movies and you know, placing them where I'm placing them. Obviously everyone knows what number one is, duh. But the rest, obviously everyone knows what the bottom is as well, depending on your tastes. But like from number two to like 10, that was pretty hard. That was uh, not an easy task to do on my part. I had to really think about which film I really liked and which one I think was better or like, like objective better or something and mixed with like my tastes as well my own personal preference so it was really hard again this is you know right off of my third one days of horror it was awesome to do that had a lot of fun hopefully do it next year but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about the halloween franchise ranking all 11 halloween movies so let's get started with number 11 six friends were chosen to stay the night this is gonna be fun the audience will see only what you see in the house of the world's most notorious serial killer the broadcast is live, but the house. What just happened? Is his. Oh, Michael, I knew you'd come sooner or later. Halloween Resurrection. Is Halloween Resurrection. Is either this or, to most fans, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. But Halloween Resurrection is dead last because, well, Busta Rhymes makes and, like, ruins his movie. His motherfucker line is hilariously awful. But if it was just that, maybe this film would be down here. What brings it, you know, being dead last is the whole reality TV show with Busta Rhymes and Tyra Banks. They're the producers. And they have Katie Sackhoff and all these other kids being there. And it's, like, definitely a different take, different direction for the series. But. I don't think most fans, Halloween fans, Michael Myers fans, were, didn't really want this. And yeah, Akkad and the studio were like, let's do this. And we got that one line week, Myers being beaten by Buster Rhymes. That is an all time low for the series. Trick or treat. Motherfucks. Also, Jamie Jamie Lee Curtis's character just kind of killing her off. Just from doing research and from interviews and whatnot, Jamie Lee didn't want to be in this movie, so she kind of just phoned it in, and she got you know paid for it, like a big check for it. So it it is what it is. Luckily, it's not the last. You know, thank God. But this is probably the movie that sort of killed the franchise for a bit until the Rob Zombies remake came along. But this movie did kill the franchise for a little chunk of of time. So number ten, he's back with a vengeance. Starts 10 will be Halloween 5 The Revenge of Michael Myers. Now, I don't think this movie is necessarily bad, but it's just what, what makes that number 10 is because it's just really disappointing and just has a wasted potential and missed opportunities, man. Like, uh, disregarding the ending of 4 and coming into this, but a retcon ended up being like, ah, that never happened. We'll just make her mute. And that just, now I know in interviews, Danny Harris said that, you know, where would have gone? Audience wanted a, a sympathetic character. And while I get that, it's just like, I don't know, man, you don't just leave off of four from that ending of four of her killing her own mother or something like that and then going into five being like she's mute you know the mask just changed by the way this is the time where they couldn't get the mask right for some reason and it's just like yeah and then loomis too loomis in his movies like up in everyone's business kind of creepy i think in the documentary do is it documentary a documentary interview for the halloween five like bonus features she's she said that her his breath smelled like alcohol uh i forgot to mention that in my halloween five video but that was hilarious to, to watch and be like oh wow that was um 10 11 year old smelling alcohol that's a great experience let me see like me well in this movie he's fine he's not amazing or bad or anything he's just like finding his all his other movies you know i will say myers in this whole franchise he's fine right he's there's not one performances from the actor playing myers that's bad i will say or maybe i don't know just i was not a huge fan of it but it's not really like no oh, okay yeah this is fine if it's good it's good i also i'm like completely forgot about this the man in black you know i get that they were trying to just keep it vague and let, let it be explained in the next like movie but it just felt like a huge waste of time at least for me just kind of like all right who is is this Michael's my Michael's I keep saying Michael's is this Michael's like lost sibling or something I'm gonna make up something like like a MacGuffin nope I'm gonna find out they just have the same thorn or whatever I also yeah the thorn too just apparently he had this his whole time and it's like yeah there's this curse there's this mark that makes him kill his own family members and there's like this cult in the next movie but we'll, we'll get the curse when we get to curse yeah it's just very disappointing very frustrating I think frustrating is the right word for for Halloween 5 very frustrating for all of the, uh, all of the decisions that were made in this film but there's nothing you can do about it. Number nine. That's the devil's house. Boogeyman's gonna get me. 
Critics are calling Halloween terrifying. A tour de force. I know exactly. A shocking masterpiece. Halloween. Will be Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007. I don't remember. So I was seven years old when this movie came out. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to marketing. I remember the trailers coming out. However, I don't know if this movie was hyped up or was there hype going? I'm sure there was hype going in, but I just was too little to remember. But I'm gonna assume. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. I'm just gonna assume that most people, most Halloween fans, were excited to see Rob Zombie's take on you know Myers. And what they got was what well, in the opening minutes, <laughs> white trash people dialogue, and then a background like sort of upbringing of Myers which I didn't mind I actually didn't mind that part there were so the Rob Zombie movies I liked some changes in aspects of his movie and his interpretation like Myers background the sort of different take on how he becomes his killer by having like this mental illness and his upbringing I like that and, and then like the mask it, it looks good it's I don't think it's the best one but it looks good right all the scars and stuff like the three scars the Loomis played by Malcolm he's good he has a British accent which I didn't mind but yeah him actually trying to help like Myers it's very like implied and very shown and very emphasized that this Myers this version of Myers really like actually wants to help you know Myers despite him being evil while the Dr. Loomis in the original he's trying to help but he, he's you know he's given up it's, it's been 15 years he has given up he's like I just, I just want to kill this little boy he is pure evil this one he's like trying to help especially in the director's cut he looks back he's failed him Rob Zombie's wife she plays Myers mother she feels like she you know failed him she killed herself he grows up to be this massive monster the tallest Myers in a series he is scary as fuck tyler main come back from ours man you are tall and scary man even right back what is it uh daniel harris she plays just another teenager kid despite her being 30 years old or 29 at the time we're shooting this she still looked very young at the time and you know she's good and brad dorf your boy chucky you know he's in it he's good as well they have a he has a good relationship with daniel harris which is his daughter that was fun the downside to this movie is that again rob zombie's dialogue it would be interesting to see if rob zombie directed a movie that he didn't write because uh, there's so many to like tap on his shoulders or tell him like hey you know this isn't too good man uh, maybe you should you know not, not include that but he does what it is full control of everything is you know the dialogue and sort of the feel i don't know maybe it's just me the, the feeling of the rob zombie movies feels more realistic and grindy and like it looks more grindy while i like that it's, it's also a negative for me i don't know i really don't know it just doesn't fit it feels like a half halloween it feels kind of rob zombies taste which is a good thing for a remake but i don't think it just gelled well for me honestly which is why it's at you know, number nine number eight evil is here it's walking amongst us Halloween 2. It's Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 in 2009. Yeah, same things with the first one. Half of it I liked, half of it I didn't like. This one seems to be the most hated, the most polarizing. I see some people put this near the bottom and it's like, damn, you really hate this movie, huh? And while I get it, I don't think it's the worst. I think people are exaggerating a bit. Now, granted, if you are a hardcore Halloween fan, you there's a few people who I know love this movie. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I get it. But, you know, most of the majority is like, I hate this. I'm in the middle where it's like, this movie's okay. I like the Hobo Myers. More of backstory. That's fine. Loomis taking a like completely different take. He's selfish and wants to sell his book. Okay. Laurie, oh, I forgot to mention. Laurie in both of the movies, I like. I prefer this this Laurie Strode than Jamie Lee Curtis' Laurie Strode in the original because, I don't know, man. She's a bit more playful and modern. I don't know. Again, as I said in my, my videos about Halloween, Laurie Strode played the normal good girl, right? Nothing, nothing wrong with that, but I just like this portrayal from Scott Taylor. Scout Taylor? I forgot her full name, but I liked her, her take. It's really fun to watch, especially her being in the director's cut of Halloween 2. She is just awesome to watch and then the ending shots the two ending shit where he talks myers talk thank you about that well Halloween fans will, but I didn't care about that. But overall, it's just okay, honestly. Same mistakes as the first one, but did things a bit better than the first one, basically. What Zombie did. Number seven is. is halloween or halloween 6 the curse of michael myers this i mean it's, it's, it's no secret that this film is a mess from the film itself and from the pre-production and from apparently scene stuff just looking and researching it is a complete goddamn mess and it shows on screen where there's two different cuts two drastically different cuts the director cut has these weird screaming edits flash and while the producer's cut has as a more like feeling of the first movie because you have myers stalking the 
that this new girl stroke uh, car stroke sorry for her name and yeah it feels more of that but despite me liking the producer's cut it's still roughly the same movie well not the same movie but it's still for me okay it's still messy you know like some things like in the theater cut things don't fit right and it's a mess and things are a bit better in producer's cut but it's still got that mess paul rudd is is in here ant-man himself there's a is this i don't know he filmed another movie while from this movie so this is the first or second movie he's dr loomis yeah Dr. Loomis, thank God you're here. Good in it, okay in it. He's an older Tommy Doyle. He's a creep, you know. Fucking stuck in a care for some kind of reason. Care too, she's fine. The kids are fine. I like the mask. They get the mask right. It looks cool. It looked good. Person playing Mars looks a bit too heavy. Hey, he looked that like, he was super wide, so there's that. Loomis, I like Loomis. He, Loomis is good in the four or five like Thorn trilogy. And he's old in this movie. He's limping. You know, he's retired. He's tired. He just wants Mars gone out of this earth, out of this world. And you know, it's his last mission, you know. With this, you know, his doctor friend, Dr. Wynn, who turns out to be this co-leader of myers uh, that thing is uh, i got tired of that whole thorn thing and all that stuff was dumb and then i do like that loomis was instead of being the destroyer of myers at the end he becomes a sort of the protector that was awesome but sadly you know loomis or not loomis donald pleasant did pass away shortly after this despite me liking some aspects it's a messy ass film and it's okay number six from the people who brought you halloween more of the night he came home Halloween 2. Halloween 2, 1981. This might seem low to some people. Again, I think from here, number 6 to 1, these are like good movies. Halloween 2 is good, right? It, it's a night after Halloween, the first one. And it's, I don't know. It's boring in some bits. That's what makes it number 6. It really is. Like, I like Myra slowly catching up to Lori. And then Lori is basically Sleeping Beauty in this movie, which is an issue because I'm sure Jamie Lee, this is probably like a schedule conflict. She was busy, busy with some other project and she had to shoot this coincide with that. So, which is why she was just sleeping throughout the whole movie and all of the, the patients not patients all the doctors or whatever in the hospital they're fine you get the horny couple cool hot tub kill that was cool jimmy don't really care about him he's hitting on on this girl who, who's like almost died the night of halloween but whatever the mask is the same it looks spoofy a different actor it was just in storage for like three years and is more bloodier with is a positive for me don't know why critics i think critics right they didn't like this movie because it was a lot more bloody if i'm like a generic slasher but hey you know what I, lo I love my gore gore isn't scary i just like blood like gore like if, you, if, 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 if i'm watching a slasher movie and there's no blood and you have like a knife or a chainsaw there better be blood you know if it's something supernatural or creature like I, I can live without that but a slasher come on it's gotta be bloody at least once or something you know and you had this this creep or this guy myers killing people with a knife that is bound to make blood so they don't mind that but it is boring and like the the, the part all right and then loomis has to go back into the school or something like that and the whole brother and sister thing that will be news forever forever until 2018 so you know i'm indifferent about it didn't care about that but it is you know just a good movie number five This Halloween 3 season of the witch like with Halloween 2 1981 this movie has some boring bits throughout the whole affair thing with this uh, young girl Ellie I think don't really care about her and her being an android at the end cool him like loving or liking this young girl with him wanting to leave his family they didn't care about that the masks the S silver shamrock commercial the company everything about that is awesome I liked it it was actually kind of creepy in the opening shot of the one guy running from the car the guy in a suit is a you know John Carpenter's theme in the background which is awesome John Carpenter's theme is so good and it's actually like a scary movie like it's really scary and tommy to and tommy tom atkins but there's a better reason you don't really know much about halloween you thought no further than the strange custom of having your children wear masks and go out begging for candy the main protagonist he's fine didn't really gravitate towards him but he's he plays a good character this film it does it, it was be mistreated honestly w without the halloween title this movie would have done well honestly it's a really good like movie horror movie and i don't know people just went down with that back in 1982 mainly because there's no michael myers and the whole halloween title so you know going towards the anthology series wasn't the best idea for john carpenter and deborah hill but they took that risk and you know now this film is beloved by my fans it's been a cool following which is great i don't think i love it quite as much as they do but it is good and i don't think it deserves to be mistreated number four is the most recent movie Happy Halloween, Michael. 
movie, Halloween 2018. This is a great comeback for the series. This is really good. Well, not really good. It's, it's good. The issues I have is the whole Allison character. She was a waste of time. And Judy Kerr and her husband, again, they were there to have a strained relationship with Laurie Strode. They just like, oh, they were there to be annoying. Honestly, I was like, okay, don't care. Th this feels like a remake, a remake of Halloween and H2O, honestly. It's, it should be H40, H4O. But Laurie Strode, she's old as hell. You know, she's a badass old lady. She knows that Myra's gonna get out. She prepares for her whole life for 40 goddamn years. And she's cool in it. Myers, the oldest fuck, he's like 61. That teeth scene in the bathroom was awesome, killing those two British reporters. And this movie captured the feeling of sort of most of the Halloween movies. This creepy atmosphere, the one admittedly long take, and it was just really good. So, I mean, that's my again, my only complaints is the whole extra character that they need to be there. Hopefully, Judy, Karen, and Allison they have bigger roles in Halloween Kills and Ends because I mean, they survive, they get out. So, hopefully, they have something in store for them. If not, I mean, they're just gonna be like sitting ducks or something, you know. Number three, 10 years ago, Halloween evil had a shape, terror had a night. He's back. Six bodies, Sherry. That's what I've seen. I tell you, Michael Myers is here in this town. Halloween Four is Halloween Four, the return of Michael Myers. Uh, I guess this is another comeback for the series after like Halloween Three, like, and six years later after the movie. But you know, it came out ten years later, and it's good. I can see why people love it. Some people put this like you know top three. It means it's in my top three. I think it's good. I don't think it's amazing, but Jamie Lee Curtis, not Jamie Lee Curtis, Jamie played by Darren Harris. She's great in it. Rachel's a likable like babysitter as well. I like her. You have this whole like plot of her boyfriend cheating with another girl. That was like okay, that's you know more horny stuff okay don't care about that the mask in this movie is probably the worst it's very very white pale with slick like brown hair ah, i don't know i don't know who the production company who created this or whatever but not look good on screen or like behind the scenes on this movie did you know somewhat most of the time capture the feeling of the first one right because the whole myers stalking however through jamie's like visions and shit that doesn't get explained the only reason i can rationalize it is the whole bloodline thing that's the only reason why that's why she like sees myers her uncle like throw the whole movie and then he finally gets there it's actually scary but the whole stalking thing the whole feeling of him being next to diner harris is still there that's still pretty good the only downside to this movie that i could think of is what the hell was i gonna say i was gonna say something i forgot about it shit god damn it whatever and then the whole like town coming to actually kill him that was cool as well Him shooting him through the well and getting shot like Jason and Jason goes to hell. That was cool. I was gonna say something. What the hell was I gonna say? Shit, I forgot. Whatever. Halloween 4 is at number 3. It's a pretty good movie. Alright, number 1s and 2s left. You know, number 1 and 2s left. If you guys can, I mean, I'm sure you guys forgot what my top 2 are. But number 2 will be... Critics call Halloween H2O sensational. Smart and non-stop scary. Finally, a sequel that lives up to the original. The Halloween H2O 20 years later. I really like this movie. I, I've seen it on the internet and social media. Some people don't like this movie. Some people think it's okay. Some people put it in the middle that it's good. I happen, happen to be in the camp where I really like this movie. I, I just like that feeling of Scream. <laughs> Clearly, this was inspired by Scream. The success of 1996 Scream. So they want to capture that, but also feel like an anniversary film for Halloween. And I don't know. I just really liked it. I like the whole PDF, PTS with Jamie, her struggling with life and having a strain because of the, the events that happened 20 years earlier. He has a strained relationship with her son. You know, she's very overprotective. Her sons hate that. Well, that's happening. Myers is slowly catching up to her, finding out her, her fake name slash real name, finding where she lives in this small town, not small town, this California private school. Like, it's just really, I don't know. I like that. I really like it. And then the final confrontation between Michael and, and Lori. She shows Michael, goes in with an axe. They have a up and down battle. She thinks she kills him, throws him towards a treat, whatever, cuts his head off. Michael.
off. He reaches out, you know, cuts his head off. That was awesome. Cool it in the movie. Would have been cool it in the franchise, but obviously it wasn't, sadly. It was a rumor resurrection. Buster Rhymes. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I really like the feeling of Scream. Lori struggling and finally co confronting her trauma and I guess alcoholism for my research. You know, conquering her, conquering her fears. Like, I don't know, going towards her and finally facing it. Not being scared of Myers. I don't know. I just really like that. It is at number two. Obviously, number one is the one, the only, the classic Halloween. I think you'll come back. Halloween, the night he came home. Rated R. John Carpenter's original Halloween 1978. I mean, movie's still a classic. Movie still is really good. Again, downside, it may be slow in today's standards. Like, like a 10 year old might look at this movie and be like, it's slow. And I can get that. It's a slow building, tension building movie. And most audiences, they aren't really used to that. Well, I mean, recently with Endgame. But, you know, most of the time, it's like, oh, this is slow, man. Can we get on with the kill or anything? And I can get that. Aside from that, the movie's really good. Don't think it's quite great, as some people may say. I think over the time, it's still really good, but I don't think it's quite great. This is me, a, a personal preference. I mean, yeah, despite being a slasher, there's barely any blood, barely any violence. Michael kills swiftly and silently. The the unknown, the unknown, the mystery of why he keeps stalking Lori is, you know, creepy, you know? So, you know, obviously in later entries, you find out why, brother, sister thing, that ruins, kind of ruins everything. But this first film is still quite a classic and really good. And should be regarded as one of the, I don't think the best slashers, but, or best horror movies, but, you know, to be top, you know, contender to be one of the best horror and slashers out there. So, yeah, number one, Halloween 1978. All right, and that's it. Uh, that was actually quite hard to do, like, actually recording this. Had a little bit of uh, hiccups throughout this recording. But anyways, it was just fun to do. Hopefully, I can start another franchise later on. I think I will, actually. Th this November? In the next November, this video is gonna be released 31st. So next November, it's gonna be interesting to see what I'm gonna do. The first like two weeks of November, it's gonna be interesting. I wanna announce it, but I will announce it later, later in the week. Well, probably the first of November. But again, thank you guys for you know watching and going along this journey with me. It was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoy my rankings. Let me know what you guys would rank these movies in the comments down below. Obviously, we're not gonna agree. If and if we do agree, that's cool. But you know, this this video is bound to be. It's bound to have disagreements and. I want to know why you guys place whatever movie in the place that you guys place it. And I will see you guys next time.